Alright, hi boys and girls. Alright, today I'm going to do with you division using multiplication fact. Alright, so what does that mean? Okay, right, first of all, we go back to our concept of uh, multiplication. Alright, so we have here, I have, so that's one group. two groups and three groups okay so here if I ask you to do your multiplication so you will give me three groups of one two three four four cubes each right so most likely you will give me three times four that is three groups of four equals to 12 all right and what is another way of writing where you can get still the same answer all right but it's uh, another way of writing so that will be your 4 times 3 you will also get 12 but it, it's no longer showing three groups it should be showing four groups of three right okay so now how do I link this multiplication fact to a division? So how would I do a division? All right. Now I want you to remember, it's actually related. Multiplication and division is related. Okay. So if I have three groups of four or four groups of three, and I ask you to find the total, you're able to give me multiplication. But for division is the other way all right they always give you the total first and that total means all together all right there is a 12 right so i can ask you such question as there is a total of 12 cubes all right and these 12 cubes is shared among three groups so there's three groups all right so i take so if it's being shared among three groups. So how many how many cubes are there in each group? So it's 12 divided by the three groups. So one, two, three. So my answer will be how many in each group? My answer will be four. Can you see that? Okay. So for division, you always start with the total. Right? So what is another way of writing a division fact? So again, you always start with the total, that's 12. Okay, then I can ask you, I have a total of 12 cubes and in each group, there is 4 cubes. How many groups are there? So I take 12 divided by 4 because each group has 4 cubes. So how many groups are there? Then my answer will be 3. Okay. All right, now I have another example, but this time I use ice cream sticks. Okay, so here, how many groups are there? So if I were to use my multiplication fact, it should be two groups of one, two, three, four, five, five ice cream sticks. So that should be two multiplied by five equals, my total will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it's ten, right? Or another way of writing, which is 5 multiplied by 2, you also get the same answer. But in this case, it's 5 groups of 2. Okay, so how do I change this to division? Remember, multiplication and division is actually related. So now, always start with the total. For division, you must always start with the total. So the total is 10. Okay, the total is 10. Then I can ask you questions like how many groups are there so if i have 10 ice cream sticks all together and i put five ice cream stick in each group all right so five ice cream stick in each group so 10 divided by five how many groups are there so my answer will be two okay or for this one always remember total first and that's a 10 I can ask you questions like, I have a total of 10 ice cream stick and 
I divide the ice cream, ice cream sticks into groups of two, into two groups. I divide the ice cream st sticks into two groups. So it's 10 divided by two. My answer will be five. Okay, so you have here multiplication and division. Okay. All right, another example. Now I'm using butter magnets. Okay, so as you can see, I have three groups. Three groups of five magnets in each group. So you can write it as three times five equals 15. Or another way of writing is five times three equals 15. This one is five groups of three is 15. All right, so now how do I relate that to show division okay so always remember division you must always start with the total and that's 15 okay so 15 now if i want to find how many in each group so it's 15 divided by 3 that gives me a 5 in the group another way of writing is still 15 total in front divided by 5 is equals to 3 okay can you see the relation all right so multiplication and division there is a relation between the two. Okay, so always remember that. Okay, alright, uh, we shall come back later with more practices. Okay.